And here, Power Man from Puerto Rico, Aftermath Maria. This is the kind of traffic you're gonna find every day for those people that they still have a job, people that they have to go out to get some food, people who have to get supplies, ice, water. This kind of traffic, we're gonna see it since the morning. People are anxious. They're looking for some kind of help, trying to help their families that live in other towns that they still don't have water or light. Almost four weeks after Matt Maria Hurricane, uh, we already start having heavy rains and the areas that have been flooded they're gonna be flooded again this real humanitarian crisis in Puerto Rico right now so we, we're not gonna need only help from the US we're gonna need help from other countries The whole island is being destroyed by the Hurricane Maria. All the infrastructure, bridges been going down, roads affected heavily. As you can see in all this traffic, we don't see any truck from the US Army, none. Probably they're working hard on the more affected areas. Many towns still, they're not connected with the metropolitan area. People are moving from other towns to other towns where some people they have lights, other people they have water. Only like a 35% of the whole population of Puerto Rico have some kind of water. Just 10% uh, to 50% people, they have lights in some areas. Internet, there's no internet in the whole island. We have spots in different towns that they have some kind of uh, internet connection. So the communication is very bad between FEMA, the government, and the US military help. We can go hours and hours in this kind of traffic going from everywhere because people are moving from the island towns to the metropolitan area they still have uh, receiving more service and more connections of electricity Right now here, I'm in one of the areas less affected by Amon, Puerto Rico.